What's up guys, it's Chris Aria. Welcome to another video of Fish with NX. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys something that you should be doing after every single workout. To maximize your gains, muscle definition, and build way more strength, but the best way to do this is when your muscles are completely fatigued. So before I show you this super effective tip, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my workout, get my muscles fatigued, to show you how this can be applied. And I was just getting started with the first exercise, that's explosive muscle ups without letting go of the bar. I still got a couple more reps to go, so let's finish those off. That's a crazy exercise right there. Really demands a lot of explosiveness from my upper body. You wanna be giving it all you got with every single rep to really push yourself to the point of fatigue. And that's what I'm gonna be doing with every single exercise for today's workout. And you should wanna choose exercises that challenge you in that same way. Some or a lot of these exercises may seem difficult, but there's always progressions to work your way up. Now my next exercise is gonna be one arm pull-ups. Let's get it. pull-ups. Now these next exercises are going to be a bit less challenging for me, so I'll be putting on the brand new Harry weight vest for the rest of the exercises to increase the difficulty. Check out the brand new weight vest, guys. It's more compact, it's a bit lighter, but the extra overload will help you get to fatigue faster and tear a lot more muscle fibers, building more muscle and getting you way stronger for doing the same exercise. And if you need a weight vest to take your training to the next level, visit chrisharia.com and pick yours up today. All right, let's get into these burpees. Now burpees is a total body killer and with that extra weight on top, I'm starting to feel it now. Next we'll be emphasizing on our shoulders with some handstand push-ups. A progression to work your strength up to this exercise would be doing pipe push-ups, elevated pipe push-ups, or even handstand push-ups against the wall. Let's go for it. All right, there we have handstand push-ups. Moving into the next one, we're gonna be working on our legs. We're gonna go for box jumps. box jumps for our legs. Next, we're gonna go into our last exercise. That's gonna be explosive dips for our chest and our triceps. All right, now being as explosive as possible, that's gonna be the fastest way to get to fatigue. So that's gonna be round one for me. I got three more rounds to go to complete this workout routine, and then that's when we're gonna start what you should always do after every workout. Let's get it. Workout, it's officially over. 
All right, so now I've officially completed my workout. My muscles are pretty fatigued. So the tip I have for you guys is to add one last rep at the end of your workout routine that's gonna emphasize on the muscle groups that you just broke down. And to do that last rep as slow as you can, the goal would actually be to take at least one minute to do that one rep. For example, if you just worked out chest and triceps to complete fatigue, a great exercise would be doing a push up, going as slow as you can, 30 seconds going down, and then 30 seconds coming back up. Specifically doing this will not only, of course, increase your strength and endurance, but create hypertrophy, tearing way more muscle fibers than you normally would have by putting your muscles in a constant strain for the whole duration of the exercise. And doing this is gonna be hitting deeper muscle fibers and getting you way more shredded. But most importantly, if you do this a lot, you're gonna feel superhuman strength at that point. Every single move, every single exercise is gonna feel extremely solid because while you're going as slow as you can, you're also working your stabilizing muscles as well as firing up your muscles and working them in every single range of motion. Sometimes when we're doing exercises, we may be doing them so fast or emphasizing on a particular part of the range of motion that we don't actually give a quality contraction to every point of the range of your rep. When you do your reps faster, it actually adds more momentum to your rep, which helps you do the exercise. So the slower you do it, the more you're engaging the target muscle, which is why it's a lot harder to do it slower. If you've done 25 push-ups and one push-up that would last a minute, you would find out that that one slow push-up is a lot harder than doing 25 push-ups. So I actually want you guys to try this with me. Let's get down on the floor real quick. And let's do one push-up that's gonna last one minute. Let's go for it. Get into position, perfect push-up position. Squeeze your core. The whole entire time, you should be engaging everything. All right, get ready to come down. We have one push up for one minute. And if you feel yourself shaking during this exercise, that's an indicator that this is highly effective and it's clearly something that you're lacking in that you really need. And imagine when you've developed the strength to where you're not shaking anymore in that position, how solid and strong you're gonna feel. And the best thing is that this tip can be applied to any muscle group. For example, today I did a full body workout. I could do one of these for every single muscle group. For example, to fatigue my back, I can do a pull up as slow as I can or an Australian pull up. For legs, I can do a squat. For shoulders, I can do an elevated pike push up or a handstand push up against the wall. For core, you can do a hanging toasted bar or with no equipment, you can lay right down on the floor and do a laying leg raise. And now I want you to start trying this after every single workout routine. You're gonna see a major difference in your strength, overall physique, and body control. And that's the tip I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, definitely smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want the next video to be about and share this video with a friend that's trying to maximize their gains and get the most out of their workout routine. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. We post every single Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And if you comment within the first 30 minutes of any upload, you always have a chance to win some free Thenx gear. And to get this workout and more workouts and workout programs, getting in the best shape of your life, go to Thenx.com and sign up to become a member. Get full access to all our workout programs, technique guides, and daily workouts. They're gonna have you shredded. Download the Thenx app in the App Store to take our workouts with you everywhere and join the millions of other Thenx athletes around the world changing their lives today. And if you guys want more of my content during the week, make sure you're following me on my vlog channel. That's YouTube.com slash Chris Heria and on my IG. Almost every post I do on my vlog channel and IG, I always do some type of giveaway. So if you want a chance to be a part of that, make sure you're following. And lastly, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that's been a fan of the music here on the channel. You guys have been requesting it for almost a year, got me well over 10K subs on SoundCloud. And now you guys can train hard to my brand new album called Workout Music. I created this album so you can play it as soon as you start your workout. And it's gonna take you through your whole training session and give you the motivation you need to make some major gains. So I want you guys to play it every single time you guys train. And with that being said, I'll see you next Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. Mad love, peace out.